Ten days after violence rocked Bulandshahar in Uttar Pradesh, the main accused, Yogesh Raj, a local Bajrang Dal leader, still walks scot-free. The UP police has now moved court seeking a non-bailable warrant against the accused who are still absconding in the Bulandshahar case. Remember, on the 3rd of December, an Uttar Pradesh policeman and a youth were killed in a mob violence in Bulandshahar. My colleague Priyank Tripathi now joining me live on the story. Priyank, out of the 87 accused, only 12 have been arrested so far. That's extremely glaring, especially, especially the main accused, Yogesh Raj, uh, you know, who has the audacity to release videos, but the police have still not been able to nab him. Yeah, certainly it's very shameful for the UP police and the entire machinery of the UP uh, to uh, see all these accused uh, time and again coming out in media and giving and releasing statement uh, in their defense. Uh, Yogesh Shaj and Shikhar Agarwal are the two, uh, uh, two suspects who were involved in instigating the mob and now UP police have... Uh, taken out NBW from the court against 27 accused. But it's been 10 days, uh, let me tell you, since the incident happened, exactly from 11 uh, o'clock when the mob gathered, according to the FI, around 1.30, uh, the, uh, the police station was attacked by the uh, protesters who came out on street along with the carcasses. But uh, so far, nine people have been arrested in the first FI, uh, which was filed by the UP police. I'm talking about the FI related to uh, the violence and the first uh, and the uh, another FI which was of cow slaughter. There are four accused who have been arrested. But uh, prime suspects are still on the run. They are giving open challenge to the UP police to have uh, audacity to come out and arrest them. Uh, there is no major breakthrough which has been achieved by the UP police official. There is a precedent in the UP to send all these accused uh, to judicial custody first of all and later to that the investigating agency takes uh, their police custody for further custodial interrogation. That has also not been done in this case. Nine accused arrested in the case of violence and the murder of the inspector are still inside uh, the judicial custody. Their police custody has not been taken by the UP police. So what exactly the SIT is doing? We are yet to know that the timing of uh, this, uh, these uh, cows who were slaughtered and whose uh, 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 body remains were taken out on the street. That could have unnerved the theory and the conspiracy that who could be responsible for this kind of uh, communal hatred which was being spread in this particular area. But so far, there is no breakthrough which has been achieved by the police officials. They have not done even one day of custodial interrogation of all these suspects who have been arrested. Jitendra Malik, uh, um, uh, a serving army uh, personnel, was also arrested by the UP police but the SIT, SIT uh, sources told you to Times Network that they have found no involvement of uh, um, uh, Jitin Malik in inciting the mob and killing of the inspector. So who killed the inspector, Subodh Singh? Who was responsible for this kind of criminal conspiracy, this kind of communal hatred conspiracy in Bulanshahar is yet to be known to us by the SIT team which is probing the case. Right, Priyank, in fact, that was going to be my next question to you with regards to uh, the, you know, the status of the probe in the case. Because now that they've sought this, this non-bailable warrant, it's clearly suggesting that there has been an absolute lapse with regards to being able to nab the accused to achieve any kind of headway into the case. So, you know, what is, what is the understanding of the authorities so far? What exactly happened on the 3rd of December? Uh, see, uh, UP police prime focus is to know that uh, from where these uh, carcasses came to the field which was very near to the police station. For that they need to know uh, that who was responsible for the uh, killing of these cows and bringing the remains of uh, uh, the body of uh, dead cows to this field area. That is point number one. Uh, to con uh, continue that, they also need to find that who was the one who was backing Yogesh Raj since his involvement with uh, uh, various political party has already been found. So uh, they also need to know that uh, who could be behind this uh, particular conspiracy to bring the carcasses on the road. And later to that, they also need to know that who was the one who killed Inspector Subodh Kumar Singh. But the answer in all these three questions is zero. They don't have any further logical explanation to be given to the media 